Musician and master oud maker Polis crafts, shapes and bends walnut, poplar and ebony. This will create the tones and sounds of this pear-shaped instrument that's so beloved in this region. Polis helped to establish the biggest oud shop in Qatar and says it's selling fast. Many people in Qatar love using the oud and no one else makes the instruments here the way I do. More people make them in Egypt. In Qatar, I'm just an extension to all the Egyptian oud-making schools. Its origins date back to the first century BC in Central Asia, and then it became popular across Iraq, Persia, Syria, Turkey and Egypt. These countries developed their own distinctive styles and sounds, and his favorite, is Egyptian. Oud for me is life. It's enchanting. I dropped out of studying mechanical engineering to work with the Oud, because from a piece of wood, I could create an instrument that speaks, expresses emotions, and tells stories. The United Nations Culture Agency has now recognized the importance of Oud, which Polis says is a great step towards global exposure. For so many in this region, the oud is king, captivating music audiences for centuries. Its inclusion on the UNESCO World Heritage List shows its historic importance in keeping the ancient sounds alive, but it's also appealing to new, more experimental musicians. Sheikh Abdurrahman Abdeni is one such musician. He plays the Turkish oud. For me, choosing an instrument that is relevant to the kind of music I want to compose, which is Arabic music, uh, oud is the most versatile uh, instrument we have. I try not to be locked up in the tradition, uh, but use it as a basis, and then create whatever new sounds I can come up with, in the sense of not only just trying to import from different practices, but trying to create new practices. He says the oud is becoming very popular amongst younger people, and most are self-motivated to learn. He wants to see more support for the oud in musical education, so its rich heritage can be developed using modern techniques. Nora Khan, Al Jazeera, Doha.